Okay, so I finally got around to uh, finishing this project, so I wanted to create a little video to show everybody um, what the final project is. Um, if you saw my last video about the Pine 6.4 and it's multitasking using Remix OS, uh, well, this is the final project. So, after playing around with it for a bit, um, I noticed that heat was an issue as well as speed of the SD card was uh, the major factor in the performance of this uh, board. If you're using a regular uh, SD card, you might want to get yourself one of the Samsung uh, Evo, uh, the uh, Series 10 um, SD cards, because uh, that makes a big difference. The better the SD card, um, you know, the better the performance. It's all about I/O speeds. Um, I was even going to go ahead and test a um, eMMC card. Uh, from uh, Hard Kernel. They sell those uh, with an actual uh, micro SD adapter which uh, will fit this. Now just to kind of give you an idea, so this is mineral oil cooled uh, Pine 6.4. Uh, I purchased uh, technical grade uh, mineral oil from uh, STE Oil Company. Uh, you can go to their website if you want to build a project similar. Uh, I'm actually going to do one with a mini ITX board next. So uh, this stuff apparently is the best from all the forums that I've read so much uh, so far. Um, so basically, just had some marbles here on the bottom for aesthetics. Um, got the two USB uh, ports that go into a small hub under the desk. Um, here was my challenge to make sure that if I needed to make an image or change the operating system, I could do so easily. So I got a ribbon cable. Um, that stretches uh, around the back here. And as you can see, I have here, this is the micro SD card. So I can change that whenever I want. Now the next challenge was also powering on and off. Now I was going to go ahead and see if I can solder a power cable to it, but instead of going that way and being sloppy about it, I decided uh, I got, got this from Amazon. So it is um, a mini USB or micro USB uh, to, um, you know, male to female here, but with the middle has a power switch. So you press the button, turns on and off. Um, so I brought it up right to where the power uh, plug goes because I don't think it really needs to go any higher than that. Not to mention I didn't want to get the uh, Cat5 cable wet because just in case uh, the oil gets in there and I have to change the cable for whatever reason, that. I don't have any problems with the pins and how it seats. Same goes with the uh, HDMI cable. Uh, I'm eventually going to do a little bit more cable management, that's why I have this, but since I have, this is right now in my office, so uh, I have it stretched over to a switch on the other side here. Uh, right now I also have my laptop here, it's nothing special, but it does have uh, a 960 uh, mobile uh, video card. So. What I'm going to do is kind of give you an idea of game streaming, uh, just a quick little demo. Uh, I am streaming also with Sling TV, uh, sci-fi, you know, just a shitty zombie movie. But um, yeah, so this is this is it. You know, I have a bubbler in there just to also displace heat away from the heat sink. It's going to be okay. It's literally bubbling right over the heat sink, so this should displace any other heat away I don't know I'm going to from the heat sink. 3D printed back plate that it's uh, screwed mounted to. Uh, on the back of there, I have also using um, some really industrial um, Velcro, the ones that you use for um, an easy pass. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. So, without further ado, here. Again, this is. Let's see. Now, I also have. Of course, I don't, want too much. don't have to worry about you know dealing with keyboard and mouse if I don't need to. And yes, the wireless Xbox 360 uh, dongle that normally works well on a PC will work natively with Remix OS. Fantastic, because uh, it does work with 5.0, uh, 5.1, uh, most of the the last renditions of the uh, the Android OS. Now this is a, again a complete mirror. I don't even know what what that just did. It went into the game and then out of the game. 
but again this is running completely off of my laptop right now so the performance you really see is just because of the mirror but uh, really I wanted to to show how it does handle uh, doing multiple things at once both in windowed mode so it looks really good get an idea here you can do both at the same time you can watch TV listen to music while also like typing or web searching so this is a, essentially a very cheap just workstation just kind of give an idea I've already beaten this game but if you don't want spoilers turn it off now but this is just kind of a playthrough of a few seconds now I'm doing this with one hand, so I'm really not going to be able to no do too well. On black clothes, and no yellow stains on white. So your white clothes stay white, and your black clothes stay black. And this is live TV, so you're going to deal with commercials, unfortunately. Choose new degree ultra clear black plus white. It won't let you down. Top uh, GPU. It's not terrible. Uh, it's not my home rig, which has my uh, 1080. Still waiting for the 1080 Ti. Hopefully that'll come out soon. That'll be my replacement. I'm also working on a uh, home server that uh, will run my gaming rig on a virtual machine. So that's going to be exciting. Hopefully I'll have that finished within the next couple of months. Just uh, a lot of money, unfortunately. <laughs> But uh, I do have a lot of projects I'm working on right now, so this is just one of them. At least I got to complete it. But yeah, Resident Evil 7, great game. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend it. It is fantastic. I decided to close out of there. Full screen. Now I'm running the audio through a uh, Bluetooth speaker. But, uh, as you see, performance is pretty good there. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of the emulators uh, to work too well. Um, I don't believe it's a performance issue on the hardware. I think it's a frame rate issue. Uh, instead of downloading individual emulators, I was using um, a... Uh, it's kind of like a, a generic uh, emulator that's a system that y allows you to basically download all, any ROM that you want, and then it downloads all of the... Uh, corresponding uh, software you need. Now one problem with um, Moonlight is the mouse emulator sucks so if you have dealt with it before on any other machine but and don't mind the game crashing my laptop is not in the okay as you can see it doesn't want to listen my laptop sucks plain and simple. What can, what can I say it's an Alienware. Yeah. All right. Let's 
stop being streaming. Okay, so. Good. Closed out. So the Moonlight menu. Close out. But everything moves pretty flush. Chrome opens up at a decent speed considering the fact that it's Chrome. And Chrome is slow as shit. Uh, on any operating system. Especially Linux. But, yeah, that was the last uh, site I was on downloading this Happy Check emulator. So, um, I came across this when I got my uh, GPT, uh, GPD XD. It's a handheld uh, Android gaming system from China. Uh, they have a lot of great products. They have uh, Windows uh, handheld, and they're also working on a very small micro laptop, which uh, is on Indiegogo right now. Um, I don't believe it's Kickstarter, I believe it's Indiegogo, but you can uh, check it out online and, uh, you know, they have a Windows and a Linux Ubuntu version, I believe. Uh, by now, they've already gotten all of their funding, I believe, but GPD is, is a great company, I'd highly recommend it. Um, just, uh, again, just a test on emulators here. We have uh, Metal Slug, big fan, one of my favorites. I have my, uh, my Neo Geo cabinet sitting to the left of me. Saw Cody on here, Plex, uh, Amazon, whatever you want to watch movies, TV shows. You can even hook it up to you know your Google accounts and use for you know Google Docs. Anything you want. Make a long story short, it really is just a small workstation in one. But uh, I should have some more videos, um, again, to come on other projects. Um, please subscribe if you like this video and you like my projects. If you have any questions, if you want to do something similar, uh, let me know. Um, I love answering questions. Uh, again, I, I love doing these kinds of projects. This is kind of what I do. <laughs> but again, check it out. All submerged mineral oil. All right, thanks for watching.